Good morning and welcome to One Punch Algo channel. For those who don't know about One Punch Algo channel, we keep live streaming sessions Monday to Friday from 7.45 am to 9.30 am Eastern Time. Hey, good morning, Femi. In the pre-market session, we check for pre-market scanners to find early morning top gapping stock that are less than $20. Then we look into the reasons they are moving and based on positive and negative news, we filter 3 to 4 results. After that, we check for their outstanding share volume, share float and then we mark resistance and support levels. Alright, today we have 12 stocks that are gapping up. The top one it shows tops, however they have a split 1 into 25. Actually, 25 stocks into one. A reverse split. So that's why it shows 1650% up. So that's not actually a good one. So let's filter it out. All right, now we have 12 stocks. MCRB is the highest gapping up stock which started to move at around 6.30 so I do have four charts here first one is 30 minutes second one is 15 um, third one one minute and last one five minutes so the news today about this is stock All right, so let me see if I can find the full news for this stock. Not in bar chart, let's go ahead and check Google. Oh. Okay, so they do have a, a drug for C diff. And let me share this link with you guys. Hmm. All right, so thirty minute chart shows a hard sell for eight o'clock. Even the 15 minutes showing the same. All right, <clears throat> looks like a good stock. They do have news. Let's mark support and resistance levels. So it's it's over 16 dollars. Let's find something that is near to 16 first. All right, which is this area 1743 that is resistant The 
let's mark the support levels hey good morning alex so it looks like option traders knew this is coming so they brought out of calls for five dollars i bet they are like so happy today Six eighty-three. All right. So other than seventy forty-three, what is the highest? There is a support around twenty-two. This is in 16. So just in case, let's mark the other highest level, which is from 17 till actually 30. It's a good gap. All right. If we check the depth and outstanding shares, they have doubled it since last year. So, but the the news is actually not bad. They found a so actually. They have a drug and this is the phase 3 trial information and they say it's positive results. So once um, they announce the positive results, they have to submit it for FDA approval and once FDA approved, this will go up again. So let's see. Let me share this with you guys. TRVN. So around 5.30 at 4.20, that's a hard sell. What is the news they have? Upper of all injection. Okay, so they have FD approved. Let's go ahead and double check the news. Okay, so it's a four to five million 
be an issue, right? This was so unique, yeah. So, looks like a good deal. If it is at 8.30, this could bounce back. They also have earnings today, right? Okay, let's go ahead and mark support and resistance level. You sure? Let's see. Okay, so it is on a twelfth. So that's fine. Maybe it's they're preparing for eight thirty. Probably. Alright, so in between those areas, let's see if any support levels four six three sixty. Could go down. Let's see. Yeah, nothing. This could touch that three fifty, but we have a call at another nine minutes, so could bounce back. So the next level is at 7.21 Let's see Alright, the next stock These guys do have new so I'm gonna mark it with red, uh, green label Next OMER 30 minute candlestick shows a uh, hard sell so does 50 minutes TRVN they do have 100 million outstanding shares and the share float is also 100 million MCRB less than 77 million outstanding shares but with TRVN they already have 30 million shares pre-market traded Um, OMER, I don't see anything 
significant also these hard sales indicates that the stock is going to go down stock price is already about $20 well we could buy puts actually I could buy puts or short this one let's see let me mark this one with orange now H or TH 5 minute chart shows a hard sell at 8 o'clock and then 15 and 30 minutes shows soft sales so this is going down since then no news it appears PAT looks like this went up last Friday since then it's going down so 30 minute chart shows a hard sell here so I'm gonna mark this with red for CGN 30 minute ch chart shows a hard sell and then 15 minute chart shows a soft sell any news Okay, yeah they do have news let me share it with you guys cure blindness disease Retinal degeneration. Mm. Not a bad drug if it actually works like that without any side effects. Stuff didn't move up a lot though after the. press release. So, yeah. So this stock does have news however 30 minute chart shows a trend reversal so does 50 minute chart so i'm moving forward with something else we do have good stocks with better news today ibio 30 minute chart shows still uh, upward momentum Okay, they have a COVID vaccine. Let's check that. Let me share the link with you guys. Okay, so they just have an update about the vaccine. Well, yeah. Yeah, I see. Actually, this is not actually a good gain. If you see previous couple of days, it was at the same level. In fact, it's going down since the previous top on July 21.
130 million share float 140 million outstanding shares yeah so this is an update the stock is up 22 percent can we short let's watch it FF foot locker what's the deal with them foot lockers is q2 okay they have an earning beat Ah, oh, 16 percent movement for a 27 dollar stock that's not bad 30 minute chart shows uh, trend reversal that's this hard sell good short position here right now or oh, buy puts I'll watch for a short entry there let me check my account for a minute HJLI what's the deal there okay this stock went up on Friday night and uh, 30 minute chart shows a uh, hard sell around 430 Friday so since then it's down so I'm not gonna check that F E N G did it just popped up or no? So what is the news for them? this went up a couple of days ago for the same news chart 15 minutes shows the sell Mara let's see if, if Mara has any news TD OPGN OPGN why did I mark this one? Oh did we thread this one here? Um, last week, I remember. 
opgen ko market covid-19 antibody test kit oh yeah yeah, yeah. i remember now let me share the link to the news Okay, Alex, cool, thanks. I'm CRB. I'm gonna add it to my watch list for today, and then we have TRVN. Add into watch list. Then IBIO. After that, OMER. For OMER, I'm actually look, looking at shorting it, so just gonna add it as well. Other than that, no stocks. Let's let's check the support and resistance level for IBIO. Right, so with IBIO from Q4 2019 till Q1 2020, they have increased their outstanding stock position by 100%. This is actually a bad indicator, very bad. And then the, the depth is increased by actually one and a half million that's fine but the amount of stocks they put back is really bad that's why it's bouncing up and down so let's see there's the resistance at 341 if it drop down then it could actually bounce back again We got 30 minutes. That's the hard sell. Now this could drop down. Oh, 
All right. Let's mark O M E R. Support and resistance levels. Like I said, I'm looking at shorting this stock for buying puts. There's a resistance around 2055. Seventeen twenty two eighteen forty nine sixteen eight. So those are the levels. All right, let's see how many outstanding shares they keep on putting back. Not a lot like other companies, so that's a good indicator. Company used to be in the same level for the last five years. Previous highest was at 27. Well, actually, there is one here at 30. Let's mark that with orange color. And then there is a obvious support at 27. Sorry, a resistance at 27. All right, cool. Let's go back to 30 minute chart. That's the hard sell indicated twice, it indicated a hard sell. So, that's that. TRVN, let's see if it's gonna bounce back. 367 MCRB to hard sell indications at 8 and 8.30 so it's about to get 9 o'clock let's watch these anyone need this entire chart let me know so you can copy the four charts that I have with support and resistance level Let's see if any other stocks popped up. Anyone new, please let us know so I can explain what we are doing. Also, it's good for me to know the name. Uh, VSTM popped up just now. It's already up 11%. What's the new? CGC also popped up. So they have a earning growth, IDEX, VSTM again. Let's go ahead and check for the news for VSTM. Oh. Uh, earning report.
let's see the lowest floor today what is this stock that is actually less hey good morning site am i saying the name right site or should i say nanchi so hot HRTH has the lowest share float today. They have 8.75 million share float and 13.42 million outstanding shares. Pre market volume is at 2.7. Do you find any news for. So, Najib, are you new for the channel? Alright, so. In this channel, what we do, we filter out, uh, we have a pre market scanner that filter out breaking stocks for the pre market, which is less than $20. And uh, after we find uh, uh, the list of stocks in this scanner, we find out for their news. And then we filter out three to four stocks, and then I add it to my watch list. After that, we use one punch algo um, buy sell indicator to make decisions. All right, cool. So once we use the one punch algo buy sell signal indicators, you you can go to onepunchalgo.com and then download the documentation. It will tell you how to use the algo and all this information what are the buy points and what are the sell points and what are the momentum strategies that we are using for pre-market uh, and all so download that documentation and then you can understand how to use the one punch algo so for an example today we are watching mcrb uh, these are four charts candlestick charts first one 30 minute second one 15 this one one minute and this one five minutes for the same stock so for MCRB with 30 minute candlestick chart at about seven o'clock they have a hard sell at about eight o'clock they have a hard sell right so it indicates that it's going to go down okay um, we do have a couple of um, videos for new stock traders you can go to uh, one punch algo please subscribe and check out the educational video that ha that talks about how to set up a free free market scanner and then you can also check the stock for trading for beginners that does have candlestick charts information and then uh, i do have other couple of videos that talks about buying and selling signals and how to turn 3% profit into uh, 365 for the year. Great, great. That's great. All right. Yeah, let me share the link to the algo. This is the algo. Five minute. All right, it's touching three fifty. For me, no. If you see it, Alex, send me a um private chat with your snapshot so i will see what's going on with you one minute shows A buy signal but it's not yet formed okay this one is here if it's shut down with 
green then that's a buy but it's turning out to be a red so hold on after a white candlestick if it is a green candle formation and close it out then that's a soft buy that's one minute okay so it needs to turn out after that long signal together with the white candle wait for a green green uh, candlestick formation for the entry this is one minute so it's actually stays long for one minute so as soon as it jumps and it will go up and then go up yeah same thing happened here went up a little the first red you're gonna sell same thing happened here and then it went up until here yeah I'm not gonna say one minute this one if it is five minutes then yes maybe it's breaking out that resistance at 350 ah, one minute five minutes I see that let's see if five minutes can have a green candlestick then that's going to be interesting anyone new please subscribe so you guys can get the live streaming when I'm live Alex and uh, Femi, do you guys have this? Same setup I have. That's five minutes. Interesting. So I do have the five minute white one. Do you see the same color for the eight fifty five minute chart? Alright, Najib. Cool. Yeah, make sure to visit live streaming sessions in the morning. We actually find uh, really good stock. Sometimes we will be able to trade. I mean, I trade sometimes pre market. That's the same setup, isn't it? Let's go up. You have the same setup. It's touching the 100 day moving average. But why am I not seeing it? Hmm.
let's figure it out let on maybe do we have a time frame difference no but it shouldn't be an issue did you change the set settings did you went to like strategy tester and then click this here all these settings Yeah, let's check it later then. Oh, MCRP is moving up. Oh, that's a buy there. Fifteen minute chart is also picking up. One minute chart is breaking out from the seventeen forty three. But after 1743, did I mark anything else? Oh yeah, 23 is there. But let's mark today's high, which is around 1940. It has to be a real system because there are two lines at the same one. Um, from here to there, how much is it? Should I jump in? 10%. Okay. In this case, I will trade one minute chart. I'm jumping in right now. 1763. First red, I'm gonna sell with one minute here. Let's see if I can swing this one. 1763 is my entry point. Breaking out. Uh, what is the time? Yeah, we still have four minutes for that nine o'clock breaking out. Let's see if it can touch 1940. I have about 4% profit right now. Come on. Right now I'm trading MCRB. Watching one minute chart. First rate I will um, allowed so normally I wait 30 seconds because one minute at least half of it I have to wait and see where is the trend is at so for me to take the decision at that point All right, still looks good. Three more minutes for nine o'clock. Should be not sell at that point. Yep, sold. Eighteen ten. Brought in at seventeen sixty three and then sold at eighteen ten. 
let's see if I can enter again still has two more minutes Wow it's dropping What about the other stocks? TRVN It is dropping as well OMER Trying to bounce back But I will wait for it to open For me to take some short positions and puts Right. one more minute let's see right about nine o'clock i will decide if i'm gonna buy it or not it's nine people are selling so I'm not going to touch this one 30 minute turns into a hard sell so this is done I'm taking a short position right now at 1779 TRVN let's see what's happening one minute chart shows uh, reversal so I'm gonna get in here 345 let's see got in with TREN 345 let's mark it with something else that's my buy point Let's see if it can break out that 350 mark. It's breaking out. Nice. All right. So one minute. We still have two seconds to go. So 48, 348, I had like 3 cents there. Let's see if it can break out that 350 for me to jump in again. Any other stocks that are jumping up? <coughs> 351 Eton. Eton is moving or what? Around 4 o'clock it went up, then that's the heart said no. Anything else that moved up? No, right? You know what? There's one thing missing here. Let's add the lowest change so I can find out what's happening in the last five minutes. Okay. With the last five minutes, VSTM is the one mode. And then MCRB. It only is also moving.
you can see it's actually dropping that's why I saw at 48 If it goes about 360, yeah, maybe 655. And there's a slight possibility for a reversal or a small profit. So it could touch that 100 day moving average for one minute. Other than that, what is the next level? At 721 but today's high is at 4450 let's mark that one Chris, are you here today? Who else is uh, watching today? Alright, so what happened with tops? Top had a reverse split. Um, so every 25 stocks turn into one. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you're gonna make more money today and this week. Hey, good morning. nice that's good so tops used to be nine cents so technically it has to be worth 225 dollars right but even after the reverse split they could like stop the price dropping it dropped to one dollar wow wow that's not a good one cndt yeah i did um short cndt a couple of times today well let's see wait did it actually pass 450 wow yeah so that's the hard sell around 450 uh, should have brought some um, shorts there this could actually drop back too many stocks that's the problem with the company and they have 1.9 billion in debt and 200 million outstanding shares that's a lot for a four dollar company normally every peak it goes back yeah i think i should have a short position 
350 oh it broke 350 let's see uh, I'm getting uh, it needs to break it how about five minute chart yeah I think one minute it doesn't look really great let's move with five minutes I made 4% today so far Oh, Nicola is moving What, what, what do they have? News? Any news? Or oh, just moving? In MGM oh, I do had some options here Nicola where did you went let's see Purchase collection cards. Wow, that's a good one. Mm. Normally, I don't trade. Um, stocks that are about 20 pre-market news is not that bad but the five minute chart and one minute chart shows the small trend reversal let's watch five minute chart for until it is gone 2.30 minutes Uh, give me one minute, my father is calling.
Yeah, he's talking about the tops, buying the top. I told him that's a bad idea. All right, so the last one minute, which one is the best? Riot. What about TRVN actually shows uh, up sign as well. Okay, so that's form up. I will buy in now. 354. That's my buy in price. I'm gonna sell around, I mean stop loss around 340, let's see, 3, I will go there, stop loss, man, bad colors, let's have different colors. Uh, fail force breakout OCGN it's moving up Yeah, I will buy here 8497. All right, filled. So actually, I brought a short position here. I was watching that one before they had the news about an FDA. News actually, not an approval. So I have a short position here. I have a short position in Omar and then I'm watching for this to buy a short position actually this is a good indicator with 30 minute chart so I'm gonna buy some short position with this one as well let's see 18 okay I didn't feel at 18 1790 mm. it's turning out to a green candle 30 minutes so not gonna buy a short position yet I wanna see a good close candlestick with 30 minutes that gives a hard sell then I will buy a close position for that because the reason that I'm afraid to buy a short position because it's already up to 180 percent let's see this one popped up what's going on with this stock oh they have some good news this is FP may proceed notice to initiate phase 3 trial 2b and 3 trial Okay, that's a okay. Let me read it properly. MOXC. How many shares do this guy have? 44 million. MOXC.
how many outstanding shares 16 million outstanding share company is also making money so that's not bad previous high to 60 it's actually a resistance they have a split 2019 345 okay I will buy in at here 28 Right. Looks like I'm going to trade one minute for MOXC I have four positions today normally I trade only with 5k per trade and if it goes up with momentum then I add in more Momentum strategy needs to look like this. So for one minute, I see a momentum formation. So I was at 2.8. So Alex was at 2.4. I'm using hotkeys to sell. Come on. A little bit more. All right, my stop loss hit. This was a false, false breakout, so I lost some. Actually, lost about four percent there. So the gain I took today, I lost that one. Let's see if I can make some here. One minute chart shows a sell. So there, 15, 215. 3% back. Let's see if I can get in later on. Any other stocks that are moving out? Nice. Nice, Alex. Did you hit your daily goal? CRP is moving up. See, that's why I didn't buy the short position here. 
because the third main did, didn't look like a short position. Alright Femi, talk to you later. Oh, this one is breaking out. I'm sure those option traders gonna make a lot today. So it said October 16, 2020, $5 cost. So they knew something is happening. Nice. All right, guys. Five minutes left for nine thirty. Um, I hope you guys visit tomorrow as well. I'll. I'm going to change my timeline from 7.45 a.m. to 8. From tomorrow onwards, I will be live at 8 a.m. Alright, hope you guys make a lot of money this today and the entire week. Um, wish you all the luck and be safe. Good, good luck to you too, Alex. See you, Chris. Hey, see you, see you guys. Alright, take care. Bye.